Hi everybody. Okay, this is day two of orientation. And I just came back to the same spot because it was so pretty yesterday that I just thought I'd do it again here. So today I thought I was supposed to meet with the um, acupuncturist. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and they call me back and I go meet with who I think is the acupuncturist. And I'm like, that's weird. His office doesn't have, you know, that picture of the human body or, or something that most acupuncturists seem to have. <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever, you know, everyone's different. And so Nanny's talking to me about medications. I'm like, that's odd for acupuncturists to be talking about medication, but okay. I've, you know, apparently a lot of people here wear different hats, so maybe this is just part of his regime or re repertoire. Sure. No. <laughs> He's the integrative oncologist. Like, oh, now it makes sense why you're discussing those drugs with me and everything else. Like, and I didn't figure it out, honestly, until I checked my phone when he went to look something up because I asked a question. And um, I saw the message saying, you're supposed to meet with Dr. So-and-so next. I'm like, oh, that's the acupuncturist. All right. So, um... Needless to say, I asked a bunch of questions of what this doctor was recommending as far as um, targeted therapy is what he called it. And um, he and I definitely have different philosophies. So um, I think there's only one thing I was considering, one thing I said yes to, and that's just an ointment to help with the wound. Um, and then the other stuff, I'm like thinking to myself, nope, absolutely not no way <laughs> and I understand his perspective he wants to throw every single piece of armory at it as possible everything in the arsenal um, but so I, I asked him to write it all down and give me his recommendation so I can think about it and the look on his face when I said that like you're the first person I've ever had to write anything out for most people just say thank you and they think about it and then come back you're like sorry <laughs> I said I've spent the last 25 years avoiding drugs and now you want to give me everyone you can think of no <laughs> that's not gonna happen just right now I need to read it research it talk to my people thank you ladies over in Idaho um, my, my mom's preppers group I knew you would be the ones to ask on one of those so um, that was the one I am considering. And it's prednisone, it's gonna be for six days, but um, I don't know if Joe and I will survive if I take it is the thing, honestly, because of the side effects of it. So I have to go home and talk to him about it to see if he thinks he's up for the side effects of me possibly being very emotional, very angry, <laughs> or not. So we'll see. Um, the other thing, when I went to the acupuncturist and he was like, oh my gosh, where have you been? I'm like, in his office. And by the way, he was late. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, okay, I'll have to talk to him. I'm like, oops, uh oh, I got him in trouble now. Um, he said, so he should, I'm gonna play a video letting you know what kind of the different therapies that I'm gonna do. So I wasn't far off. This guy does three different therapies, the acupuncture, light therapy, and one other thing, I don't remember. Um, but. In his video, it talks about how you don't need to take NSAIDs because, for pain because of this light therapy. And I'm like, hmm, the other doc was recommending NSAIDs. <laughs> and um, according to this video, I don't need NSAIDs. I just need to do this light therapy. So, and that was one of the ones I was definitely kind of like, no, nah, I don't think so. Just because my favorite was when I asked him, um, well, isn't inflammation part of the body's response to protect it? And that's why it's a good thing if there's inflammation, because he was giving me the example of how there's a football player gets injured, can't move his leg or arm, and then he takes this medication and now he can move his leg or arm. And I, but isn't that the body's natural response? And then he came back with, well, you know, there's good inflammation and bad inflammation. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so he didn't really answer or my directly answer my questions, which okay, and not everywhere is perfect, and that's fine. 
There are lots of other modalities here that are going to be just as effective. And I did ask him straight out, hey, do you do the IPG therapy? And he said no. I'm like, okay, good. Because <laughs> I didn't like some of the things I was hearing. It wasn't sitting right with me. And if anything we've all learned on this journey is um, to trust my instincts and go with my Holy Spirit. Gut, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it my Holy Spirit from now on because... Um, that, that makes the most sense and I kept checking in with it and like they want me to do Lupron I'm like absolutely not I said, let alone they give it to you in a shot and it takes I forget how many minutes I'm like hell no <laughs> excuse me but no um, and, and again it, it was just to help mitigate something or other and I was like you know what you, you don't know what my body's going to do I sure you've got other people who have shown these results, but you just got done saying how we're all individual and how we all respond differently and not necessarily there's a one size fits all and, and now you're gonna tell me that I should do this because of the other person that's similar to my case had had good success? I don't think so. So anyway, acupuncturist was awesome. I just loved his story. Um, he's a, a cancer survivor and um, just a really neat story. I really enjoyed him, so I'm looking forward to working with him. I asked if he could fix the pain in my neck. <laughs> um, and he said, absolutely, I can work on that too. I said, oh, awesome. So tomorrow I meet with the nutritionist and get a lymph massage. Those are my favorite. Um, so, and they grabbed another uh, vial of blood today. I'm like, oh, okay. No one has any tips and tricks on the port keeping it dry when you shower other than putting cling wrap. So if anybody else who's watching this happens to have some advice on how to keep that from getting wet when you shower, I'll take it. Um, just because that was a little tricky last night and actually a little stressful. I'm like, okay, am I doing this right? I mean, making it stick, right? Anyway. Um, this is all new. I'm sure I'll have it all down in about two weeks and we'll go from there. So thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.